We slept back here in the corner of this church last night. In Rouge, Oregon. I was able to plug in right here. That was nice. There's uh, my little batteries that have solar panels on them. I uh, do not keep a charge for my phones at all. So it's been absolutely imperative that I find uh, plugins every once in a while, um, every other day or so, in order to be able to continue documenting. So yeah, um, the sheep didn't really like uh, this grass. Um, and there's a sprinkler system that I realized was back there that uh, could have shot on at any moment, so I packed up early. Yeah, let's go see what good graves we can, better graves we can find for you. The church that we slept behind across the street. All we had to do was come across this road. This really nice looking lot. A little trailer park. And I saw this last night and wished that we could sleep here, but there was too many street lights illuminating it and it was much darker back there in the corner. All right, you're a happy sheet this morning. And I think I finally figured out how to utilize these wild oats. Ah, these wild oats. These wild oats are uh, everywhere. So they're like one of the easiest plants, one of the most abundant, but they're also one of the most um, easily collected wild edibles um, that has calories in it, carbs, and but then it's uh, conversely one of the most difficult to process because it has these little hairs um, in them that uh, commercially they have to shoot at a freaking wall at like 60 miles an hour to bust off uh, the hairs and then they use a fan or something and all the workers have to use freaking dust mask here's another one right here this one is uh this one right here is released its seeds i've tried to primitively process them for f five years now and i it's just not feasible um i haven't tried nixtamalizing them uh which is um soaking them in um ash water basically um ash water that's been um that's been dehydrated down so that it's really uh really alkaline and uh it's so that it will eat chemically eat the uh the hairs the brace of hairs the hairs get stuck in your throat uh, the hairs haven't developed yet on these immature ones i don't know why it's taking me this long to think about trying this I think I have thought about trying it in the past. I just haven't gotten around to realizing that it's the only way to use it, um, use this plant. I thought there's got to be a way to process the hairs off these so that I can have some freaking wild oats. But I really don't think there is now. So now I've opened myself up to um, to trying to create larger amounts of this oat milk. That I was uh, that I was experiencing with just one or two oat heads stuck in my mouth and sucked on. So uh, yeah, if you take a wild oat that's immature and you squeeze it, you'll get oat milk. It's actually fun though, popping these. I have a little bit of honey left. Let's see if we can use that as a sweetener. Oh, it's green. That was easy. This is awesome now. Yay. I'd say after all in all, it's like a 50% Wheatgrass shot, 50% um, oat, oat milk. Wow. That's awesome. That's really amazing. Cool. So now all I have to do is use my, this is a quarter gallon uh, cooking pot. 
And all I have to do is use my my one gallon cooking pot <clears throat> that has a flat bottom. This one has a, um, a recessed bottom on it so that it, um, every time that I pushed in the middle, it kind of popped, popped its way down and absorbed some of the pressure. So if I use my one gallon cooking pot, it has a, a very strong bottom and I put it on concrete, I should be able to get like, this is like a pint and it was three fourths full. Um, I should be able to get like a quarter gallon of, uh, of wheatgrass slash oat milk out of a gallon of collected oats that I could collect in literally, literally 60 seconds um, at some uh, some stands at certain points in time. So yeah, um, this is uh, definitely going to be a part of my uh, my culinary life in the future. Finally, I figured out how to utilize those dang oats. And commercially, the way that they make oat milk is they use the uh, the dried oats uh, that they process the hairs off of and then they chop them up in a blender or grind them up into flour and soak them in water and then they uh, leach that water off and that water is oat milk. So this is a slightly different process. I'm using um, immature oats and not having to extensively process them. It's This is and it's got some some healthy chlorophyll in it. And yeah, this makes way more sense for my type of life. Awesome. Fennel here, growing outside the outpost here in Roosh. All right. Hi. Did you say my name? Oh shit, hi. Now, now you're looking familiar. <laughs> How you doing? Good. What's awesome. up, brother? Yeah, are you the one that hollered? I did. Oh, sorry. I didn't know if you wanted me to come, uh, come well, over. I just wanted some... to talk to you, man. Oh, that's cool. I've been seeing you. I work in Williams at uh, the herb farm. Michael. Michael, nice to meet you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you were in New York. <laughs> I was yeah, wondering. So I'm sitting uh, there watching them, uh, and I'm watching them like, I was they hoping. were just doing so good. Like, they were just stripping the right, like, grains off. They the, love those oats, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. they were just loving it. I'm, they, they, I'm sitting right there and like... I, was hope, I always hope that somebody else can enjoy watching them graze because it's pretty damn peaceful. No, it yeah. was super awesome. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. It was it, really a trip. I was like, what the, the fuck? The inside of your facility looks fuck? like a trip. It, what the fuck is going on out here? <laughs> like, what is this, for real? <laughs> it, it looked like uh, it was a lot more advanced than I had expected the herb farm. Like inside, it looks like it's like white wall, like laboratory. Oh, it is. Type of shit. Yeah, totally. Yeah, but um, I also make these little uh, wiki dollars that I try to hand out. Um, oh, that one's the blank one. There's um, this one's wild edibles, and you can print them off for free as blank ones, like on the website, and then you can add your own useful information. Basically, oh, yes. information is supposed to be the most valuable thing in the world, and it's also the uh, if we make currency out of it, then it's it, it would it would be the first truly uh, decentralized currency because like Bitcoin and all that shit is not is not decentralized because it is dependent on a centrally controlled internet you know if, if the elite control the internet then any supposed decentralized currency on it isn't actually decentralized you know hey so if this helps I, I'm trying not to use money I'm try, okay. trying just to barter okay. I, you want to buy, I, I buy me five dollars of a sandwich or something? Uh, uh, yeah, and I'll give you. I'll trade you some uh, some uh, walnut coins. Wal I call them, I call them walnut coins. Michael just got uh, me dude, a roast no, beef it's sandwich. Be like or Thank Thursday. you, Michael. Taking the lake this weekend and do kind of like my last little roundabout. I want to take him up, say goodbye to Rhonda. And uh, just mm. kind of like hang yeah, out. Yeah, plan on. Oh, what was your question? How long do I plan on staying here? On this property. Like, um, I'm eating uh, my. The only okay, thing when you get done, you're, you're out of here. Is that what I'm doing? Sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah. I just got here. I'm just getting some. He, he invited me to lunch. Yep. All right. Michael, we, we eat your lunch. And then we'll go from there. Okay. All right. Have a good day. Yeah. Have a good day. No more staying up. Yes. Here, though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So you had a you had a problem when we were grazing for an hour in that field this morning? Yes, sir. Um, you didn't why ask, did, why didn't you, you, did, you didn't ask when you come on private property? You got to come and ask the people that own the property. How do I know what's going on how do up I, here? How do I know where you? What's going on up there here? There was no house or anything there. It was a vacant lot. How am I supposed to know who to ask? You could ask any of these people. Anybody could have figured that out. Even you could have figured that out. Okay. When you yeah. saw me, why didn't you say something like? I didn't see you. I got reports from all kinds of people here. Okay, so you didn't actually have a, a problem. Okay, you heard what I said. Okay, what's your name? My name's Aaron. Um, All right, have a good day. I'm so going to post this on YouTube so your community can see it. All right, have a good so day. Blessings. Uh, that is what's wrong with going on in his head? That's what I wanted to say. Lay down, buddy. They got poop cups on, too, to... Um, uh, to their poopies. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I understand that, but it's just having livestock out underneath my. Oh, sign. if anything, <laughs> that that seems like like it would uh, be like, hey, what's going on? Well, let's stop and let's and then we'll go buy something while we're at it. You know? Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't think it'll work that way. But yeah, it's all good. I mean, you got food. Yeah. Sheep are good. Yeah. Yeah. Right, have a good day. Hey, you do the same. All right. Appreciate, you. appreciate it. You guys ready? You had a good hey, rest. Aaron. Yeah. It's good to hang out with you. Yeah, loving you, brother. Yeah, it was, too, it was it really nice having a conversation with you and uh, and um, if I'm in Williams or if I'm coming through Bumcom, uh, that that actually might be uh, more more likely. So uh, now I got your number and I'll we'll yeah, connect totally. again. Yeah, Michael, thank you. Loving you, brother. Thank you. Loving you, brother. Thank you. Blessings to us all. Let's go. You ready, JC?